Welcome along to another BMW E39 M5 DIY how-to video guide and today we're going to be looking at the all-important issue of brake cooling. Now the M5 as standard doesn't have brake cooling ducts which run from the front grille through the inner wing to the brakes unlike other E39s. So we're going to be looking at making our own and having them piped directly to the back of a disc using the heat shield that is fitted there. You might be wondering why we want to do this. Well, if you use your car on track regular, you'll know that the brakes get very hot very quickly and the standard brake discs, whilst good, aren't particularly capable of living with many high speed runs where you're having to jump on brakes then continue on your journey again. This is of particular interest to those of us who go to the Nürburgring where there's just shy 13 and a half miles of exceptionally quick tarmac and around about 72 corners thrown in. Most of them you don't need to touch your brakes for but those that you do you're scrubbing off vast amounts of speed and the brakes simply aren't up to the job on the standard car. A lot of us fit aftermarket brakes, I've got 8 pot brakes on mine with fully floating front discs. But to help them that little bit further, brake cooling needs to be done. So we'll go on to the parts you need and what to do next. So here are the parts we need. For the intakes on the front fog lights, we're going to use a pair of 51mm plastic base ports, available off eBay for a couple of quid. For the back of the brake disc protective shield, we're going to be using a pair of Revotech 51mm top hats. And for the ducting itself, we're going to be using some 51mm silicon air ducting with reinforcing metal wires and cotton reinforcing on the outside. This is highly flexible and exceptionally good at keeping its shape when it's red hot and allows the fitment of this really well where we're going to be routing it. First thing we're going to do is remove the road wheel then the inner arch liner and then the metal duct. When I said earlier that the M5 doesn't have them fitted it doesn't have the cutouts in the inner arch liner for the brake cooling duct, however it does have the aluminium ducting itself in place still. So we're going to remove this and then we're going to slot across here then up and up then open it up and bend it out of the way so we can route our pipe work in through the front of it and out of here. Then the pipe work will run up inside here just near the engine mount and come out behind the shock absorber run up to the back of the brake plate and then the aluminium backing plate will be on there. Once you've cut the slot in your cooling duct then you can run the silicon pipe work through run it up between the engine mount and the bodywork then between the subframe and the steering box on this side then it will run between the shock absorber and the drop link to the back of the brake disc cooling plate on the forward side it will run to in here where the fog light surround is and this will then go on to the back of the port on the rear of a fog light rim. Next we're going to drill a hole in the aluminium brake backing plate using a 51mm hole saw. Then we can insert our top hat. This one's been bent ever so slightly on the flange so it will fit the brake backing plate. Then we're going to pop rivet it in place in three places then it'll be nice and secure. Once you've pop riveted on the aluminium top hat then you can affix the 
cooling duct to the back of the top hat using a Jubilee clip and then use some cable ties to secure it to the rear of a shock absorber then check your steering for full movement to ensure that the ducting doesn't foul the wheel on full lock either way. To get the location for drilling the hole through the fog lights around, a bit of blue tape, place your base port on top, draw around inside, then that will leave you with a perfect circle. Then you will need to use a dividing tool to find the centre of that circle. Then once you've done that you'll be able to drill using a hole saw and then be able to insert the base port inside. Then once you've done both this is the outcome of what you'll be left with. So if you push the base port through it's a nice tight fit but if you wish you can use a bit of epoxy resin on the rear just to secure it in place. And these will be now ready for painting in a fresh coat of gloss black as they're quite tired and weathered. For the fog light surround, push the silicon pipe onto the back of the base port. You may need to take out some of the metal coil inside. A couple of zip ties secures it in place nicely. Then refit your fog light surround back into the bumper and check from behind that all the ducting is in place nicely. Once you've got your road wheel back on and you've ensured that there's no foul in it anywhere lock to lock, a couple of additional cable ties just to make sure everything's nice and secure. And then once the front fog light surround is back in, that is a brake cooling duct done for one side. Do the same for the other side, taking into account that the steering box isn't there. And that's that. So. I hope that this video has been helpful for you and of some use and check back again in the future for more videos on how to do things on your E39 M5 and we've got quite a large project coming up in the future which is ongoing at the moment it's going to be a winter fitment and it's one of a kind thing that so far nobody else has tried or completed as far as I'm aware so you'll have to check back and see how we get on with that one. Give my channel a like and subscribe for more updates. And thank you for watching.